Hey guys, this is Wood here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode for Season 2 Race 1, and it is going to be the Xfinity Series at Daytona. Why am I on the custom car menu? Well, I just want to show you the custom car that I made for the Xfinity Series. It's basically Chevy uh, Camaro, and it's uh, for Blake Cook, and this is what it looks like. It is the number 36 that I decided to go with, and it's going to be yellow, black, and uh, white. Uh, yellow for Android 18's hair, black for Android 18's leggings, and a little bit of white for Android 18's like um, white um, long sleeve things. Actually, it's on my desktop right now, so that's actually kind of perfect. I could, that, I swear I don't script. I didn't script that, but yeah. So we got loves on the the hood. Um, we got loves on the side. We got uh, Aspen Dental, uh, and then we got the Moog on the rear TV, kind of like a throwback to the original like uh, red. Uh, car thing in heat evolution so that's what we have in the rims are red so yeah that's the car we're going with for uh, the Xfinity series it looks nice so I'm happy with it so um, let me just get right into the uh, the career mode and uh, get this stuff going because we're pretty much ready to go here um, so this is what the team we're with uh, no rivals or anything of the matter because we're just starting but here's the difficulty in all the settings. Legend difficulty, 13% race lanes, flags on all stage, uh, single stage race, quick qualifying race, damage full, manual, just transmission stuff. That's the settings we're going to go with. And so, yeah. So without further ado, we're going to get right into, uh, we're not going to do qualifying because qualifying is pulling us in this game, but we're just going to head straight into the race here. We are the race about to begin. Get ready. And the green flags that were underway here in the Xfinity Series at Daytona. I'm looking forward to this season just to see how many wins we'll potentially get and also to see how uh, I'll be when I'm in ultimate sweat mode and really focusing because when I play in a different account I really don't put 100% into uh, everything I do when I play so um, this will be interesting. So we got 16 laps and we got 11 in the fuel so we're going to definitely have to pit probably and just take two tires and all that at this track so We'll see what we can do. Uh, again, this is a five-star rated team. I don't know how Blake Cook's car is a five-star team, but I I don't know. But we're going to see what we can do here. The truck race at Daytona, we got extremely lucky in terms of the like how the caution came out. And just winning that race was just extremely lucky. So we're going to see how that this uh, race plays out today if the caution does not come out. Because if it, if it doesn't before we pit, then I don't really see ourselves winning. I just... It, we, we kind of lucked into the truck winning so at Daytona, so I don't know how this is going to be as I bumped into Daryl Walls a tiny bit, but I already moved up through the field a little bit within this first lap, already up to 34th. I'm probably going to be in hood cam for most of the race, I'm assuming, so just because I can kind of gauge on where to pass people at and kind of get into the car along, but I don't really care. But, yeah. So, it is interesting to, uh, I don't know, play this game and Go go from this to NASCAR 2003, just because the difficulty in that game is really freaking brutal and difficult, and then here it's not anywhere near as close. So it's always a very uh, just stark contrast from it all the time. So I'm just trying to really just uh, get just I don't know. It's always interesting to to know at least for for me. But already moved up a couple more spots this lap, and now we're gonna try to get the inside of Tift and get an opening barely. I think we're going to be three wide going into one. Again, pack racing and restrictor plates and everything so much better in this game. Uh, there's not like one car pulling away. The field's more normally bunched together, and it's so much better here. It's, I'm really glad they did uh, improve this. So we're right up in the 25th. This car definitely has speed, so that's nice. This when it's in the draft and all that. So ooh, I don't want to hit the, the double yellow line because... Uh, I don't know what is on the back straight. If you nip them a little bit, the car can sometimes get really just out of control and will basically wreck. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to really try to play uh, cautiously, at least in the, the back straight away. And here's Blake Cook, our teammate. I give him a little bit of a shot to help him out, and he's not going to take advantage of that bump, so we're just going to try to get to his inside. Uh, can't quite. There we go. All right. I don't know who's leading. Might be Elliot Sadler, but here's just another guy right in front of me. We get to his inside. We nip that <laughs> the banking there a little bit. We keep the car on the bottom. Is that Mike Harmon, like 16th? No, that's Stephen Lang. Okay, my apologies. So I don't know. I still I don't. It looks like Elliot. No, Elliot Sadler's right up in front of me. So I don't know who's leading. Looked like a blue car from the distance, but I 
can't really tell, but we're still to the inside of Stephen Light. Trying to make the pass work, but it's not enough. We're lap four into the race so far, so um, basically the way this is kind of playing out, uh, if a caution comes out at any point before we pit, I'm definitely, you're going to have to pit no matter what. So I'm just curious, I'm just curious about that, so just letting you know just in case uh, you weren't aware, but we're almost going to crack inside the top ten. We're pretty damn close, and this car is definitely fast enough in, I don't know when, because it always seems like once you're in second, it's so much more difficult to get by people. It like, seems like you just don't have that, uh, like the horsepower to completely clear them. So getting the actual lead might be a little bit more difficult. But as of right now, we're just going right through this field, which is kind of scary because we don't even have the momentum thing in the car at all. So the momentum's like the 10 plus speed boost thing, which is already kind of OP in general. But this car is already fast on its own merits, so it's kind of scary just to think about that. But we just cracked inside the top 10. We're going to move up into 8th, get the inside of Eric Jones for 7th. Get to the inside of Clemens. Uh, we kind of gave him a bump and run there at Daytona, but it, it worked. So we moved up into 6th, trying to get to Kane. Wow, all of a sudden the car is just fast. I don't know if they're just slowing up in front of me or what, but cars, it really had a run. Trying to get to the inside of Kane, not quite. Who is the leader? I still don't know. We're gonna get by Logano. We're just gonna just five car tango our way around him. <laughs> but okay, there we go. We get to the inside of Kane, and looks like is that who is that? Is that Ross Chastain in second? No, it's not. Okay. I mean, no, maybe it is. I can't. Yeah, he is. Wow. All right, who's first? Is that Ty Dillon? It might be. I don't. Who is? Yeah, it's Ty Dillon. Okay. Try and get to the inside of Chastain for a second. Not going to be able to quite do it just yet. Might be able to give Chastain a shot. We can kind of get by him for the lead. Or, you know, we could try to make it three wide and, make, and do, do it like that. Yeah, I guess we could try that. All right. Oop, I didn't mean to give Chastain a bump. But here we go. We're going to go three wide for the lead. Not going to have enough momentum. Damn. Yeah, it's just what I was uh, theorizing. It's going to be much more difficult to get by uh, the leader because just we don't have any more cars in front of us to kind of give us a little extra... Um, speed so it's really just gonna come down to like when will I get a good enough run before we get into the corner to get to his inside and kind of side draft them maybe I still don't know if that's if it works but we're gonna try because they always talk about it so much so might as well give it a shot but we're getting to the inside of Chas staying for the lead he's slowing up a little bit staying on the bottom which is the preferred lane here and can we clear him Ooh, <laughs> yes we do and the game just stopped couldn't handle that. All right, so we got the lead. Let's just kind of block for a little bit until we pit, which will probably be on lap 11, I think. Probably. Might be heading down Piro this lap. It depends on what people do behind me. And I guess they aren't going to pit. It's kind of interesting because I'm one lap on fuel, so they're, they're going to really try to stretch it all the way to the end. So I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm just, I'm not going to take any tires. Just, we're gonna try that out because it's getting close to near the end of the race so I'm definitely gonna try to just take note okay never mind then um fuck I don't know what to do now since we're gonna be in the pack I'm gonna go with two tires just for the right size just because just playing it safe so and 1.5 repair not repair damage we'll see what this is we should be like not first but we should be okay just hope we're not too far in the back. Okay, we're third. That's actually perfect. So, that's just what I want. Alright. And the green flag's back out. We're underway. We've got only a few laps left to go, I bet. Try to get to the inside of Brandon Poole before we even get to the line. Totally legal, but the game is to punish you for it. But it's okay, we got the lead. Alright, my god. The manual gears and the restarts. We... <laughs> god damn, man. That's just... That was disgusting, the jump we had, but we get the lead. We got enough fuel in the tank. We're, we're good to go. Let's just bring it on home. I'm shocked. I didn't think I'd get the lead that easily, and I didn't think we would be in third when I took two tires. I really thought I would drop like 30 spots. White flag's out here for us one more time around the racetrack. We got Brandon Poole, and I think Ross Chastain in third behind me. Not Terrison Rose. Okay. We got two flexa cars in the top five, but... 
really all I gotta do right now is just block any uh, lane that has momentum and it will kind of stall out so as of right now it's not anything too difficult because there's only one lane that's kind of going but I see uh, Harrison Rose trying to get a run up on the outside just continuing to block uh, Brendan Poole here looks like they're gonna get a run so I'm gonna go up high to block that try to get back down low into three Try to get a run up on the outside. I'm just going to move up the car just a little bit just to hold their momentum. And I do just that. Perfect. I thought it would get a little bit tight. But then a little bit. Uh, Simulates are two tires. But off of turn four. And we are going to get our first win for Blake Cook's team. Hell yeah. All right. What a way to start the season. We're going to sweep the entire year. Daytona, Bristol, and, and Talladega are the only few tracks where I am concerned about winning and we got one of those out of the way, so. All right. Oh my God, that's that's insane. Good God. All right. So, Eric Jones second, Ross Chastain third. Who finished last? Because they would have probably gotten that wreck that caused out the caution. Matt Tift, okay. <laughs> and Brandon gone as well. I don't, I don't know what happened to him, but. Yeah, that was a good race. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about our frickin' earnings. I feel stupid now. What is it gonna be? Like, what, 665000 So, definitely a lot more points, uh, points of money-paying thing than our trucks. But, yeah, we're already in the chase, so we can pretty much chill for the rest of the season. <laughs> and we get our victory lane celebration. Might as well just look at this. Just this one time, because, wow, the shine, but there's our car. It looks nice. I'm happy. And there's our driver with the, the hair color that changes every week. But it's okay. Perfectly fine. All right. Fourth career Xfinity Series win for us. Three in the, the hot seat and one in the four, full season thing jig. So, all right. Getting off to a good start this year. Look at this. Ryan Blaney sent us a message. What does he have to say? Xfinity win number one. Way to go. That's that's like my fourth Xfinity win, Ryan Blaney. I don't know what you're talking about. Xfinity win number one. No, it's not. It's my fourth win. What are you talking about? It's my first win of the season, but not my first win ever. Do the hot seats just not count to your career stats? Just fuck it. I'm going to count it because you, you, you don't do that in real life where... If you run part-time in Xfinity Series and then you win a race and then when you win a, a race full-time and then they're like, that's their first win. No, they don't. They say that's their another win or their second win. Okay. Rant over. But, yeah, so next race will be at Atlanta. I don't know how this will go. But, yeah, might go well. I don't know. But, already starting off on a good note. And thankfully we have no rivals somehow. I thought I would, I would, I would get somebody salty, but I guess not. That's really it. Really got nothing much more to go into. So anyways, thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate love feedback and support all you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. Also, big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adele Reynolds, Braden Hill, Scott Browning, and Mark Kolar. Again, I really appreciate you guys donating. You might you did. And I can't say it enough. And I can't say it enough how much I appreciate it. I'll see you all at Atlanta. Can we go two for two? I think so. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.